Hey everyone, I'm Rob Campbell, this is Brian Coogan. We're here at Ring Zen talking about the code changes that took effect last October and four different wall assemblies and the products that you can use to achieve the required R values and energy ratings required by the code. Right behind us, like Rob pointed out, we have two different wall sections. First one that we're going to be talking about is a 2x4 option. The second one that we're going to talk about is a 2x6 option. Now, if you're not familiar with the code changes that happened back in October, there is a couple different changes that happen more specifically to the R value codes and how that wall assembly is going to be built out. Okay, Brian, so we have a 2x4 wall section here. You want to give us a little overview of what's going on here? Yeah, absolutely. So like Rob said, this is a two by four and this is one of the options that we could go with. And let's start with the Benjamin Object HydroGap SA. This is another great option as a self-adhered WRB, which gets all the same great properties of traditional self-adhered products, but adds a drainable layer to it, which is gonna be really important when it comes to specific exterior cladding products or siding products that we're gonna be using. As you can see, we have this additional piece of wood or framing that goes around the window opening. This is what's called a window buck. And one of the big reasons we do that is to accommodate this two inch halo Xterra GPS foam, so graphite polystyrene. One of the reasons that we chose to bring on the e halo Xterra is one, it's a little bit of a greener product. And two, when we're looking at wall assemblies, we really like to make sure that we give you all the products to make a fully vapor permeable product, which is what halo Xterra does for you. So XPS foam is vapor closed, which means it's not breathable. Halo Xterra is vapor open or vapor permeable, which allows it to be breathable. So our Rockwell R15 on the interior is vapor permeable. The Zip system or the Benjamin Updike Hydrogap SA is also vapor permeable, all the way out to our exterior rigid foam, which is an R10 at a two inch, is gonna be vapor permeable as well. All right, Brian, so we're here looking at a two by six wall assembly. Can you give us some background and details on what's going on in this two by six wall assembly? Yeah, so like we've been talking about in our previous videos and now again in this one, and it being a two by six wall and the code changes uh, and potential need for exterior continuous insulation. Uh, like Rob said, we have a Zip R, which is an R6, which is an insulated uh, WRB panel. So the rigid foam is stuck to the back of the Zip system itself and then fastened directly to the studs. And then right here we have a half inch CDX with again, our Benjamin Updike Hydro Gap SA fully adhered WRB or house wrap. And then we're jumping into the halo again. We're flashing our windows like we would with a traditional two by six wall construction. When we go to exterior foam applications, now we have to take into consideration the buck where we need to increase the width of our flashing to make sure it comes over the window flange, down the buck, and then adhere to our WRB. So when we do exterior rigid foam, just keep that in mind. Buy thicker flashing so your windows are gonna be flashed properly. Okay, so now we're here taking a look at the interior portion of these wall sections. Again, we've got our two by four wall cavity with an R15 rock wall insulation. And we've got our two by six wall section with an R23 rock wall insulation on the interior. Brian, you want to tell us a little more about some of the features and benefits of rock wall insulation? Yeah, absolutely. There's some really great qualities about rock wool. One, great sound deadening quality. It's not affected by moisture. As you can see, it's not a batted insulation. It's a pressure fit insulation to hold it into the wall itself. You get great extended R value over traditional insulation products. And it's a little bit easier to work with. You don't have to shut down your job site like you would with a closed cell spray foam. You can continue to work and not have to leave the job site for 48 hours. All in all, Rockwell insulation gives you a, a wide variety of different R values and an opportunity to really build a high performing wall cavity and exceed R value codes, especially with today's new code changes. All right, thanks, Brian. We've covered a lot today talking about these different wall assemblies, and I think it merits having a bigger conversation about the science behind what goes into creating these wall cavities, and especially the, with the use of exterior insulation in all of these applications. So what do you think about having a bigger conversation and discussion on how that's achieved and the science behind it? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's really important for everybody to understand as to why these code changes have happened and how they're gonna help you build and design homes for years to come. So please stay tuned for a more in-depth conversation on the building science and why 
your wall should be built this way. If you do have any comments or questions, please comment below or call one of our local Ring Zen locations to talk to our sales experts. I'm Bryant Coogan, and thanks for watching.